All right, it's Jay today and Gwen tomorrow, and I'm back with another adventure. As you can see, it's coming down really good right now, and it, it will be the rest of the day into Wednesday. So today is January 9th, uh, 2024, and it is 9.18 a.m., and I'm making my way to Shawano, so Shawano, Wisconsin. There's been quite a bit of slide outs or wrecks reported this morning to include a jackknife semi uh, out in De Pere, uh, Wisconsin. So currently I'm in Howard, Wisconsin. And again, it's about 31 miles uh, to get where I'm going. So, and I'm told that 29 is kept up pretty good, but uh, we'll test that theory here shortly. Uh, as I make my way uh, west. So. Oh, the roads don't look too bad. But it's supposed to get worse throughout the day, too. So I guess we'll see. too bad <laughs> this is where it comes to slowing down and not going to speed limit so um, <clears throat> currently it's 37 degrees too so Well, that's what my car's saying. So that may be because I was in a garage overnight. So I'm not 100% sure either on that one. So they brine the roads, it sounds like, from my understanding, so but not too bad. Like I said, that brine actually helped out, and I don't think they actually plowed the roads because the brine was actually uh, preventing from sticking. So, and it's supposed to be drifting too later, which doesn't really help the cause of, you know, them plowing, uh, because as soon as they plow, it'll just drift back. They're talking about 40 mile an hour winds and so forth and so on, so I guess we'll see. I know you guys can kind of see too that it, it the roads seem to be a little bit more sketchier the further you get out out here like that left lane doesn't look like it's cleared at all like in some spots so yeah we're just gonna take it easy
I'd say like right now it doesn't even look that bad, you know, overall. But they said this is going to continue on throughout the day, so. And that's where it adds up, so. Um, the majority of the schools are actually closed too right now, so. But we're only expected to get five to eight inches, so. seeing a whole lot of vehicles out here. Look at that left lane. <laughs> see the wind and snow is getting blown into that right lane now. And part of the left lane up here. The snowstorm that they called is Av Avria, Avery, but I'm not even 100%. I know it starts with an A. Now it looks like it's kind of clear. So if you also look out in some of the pastures too that we are driving by, uh, to the right or left, you'll actually see fences going across it. And what that does is that actually prevents the snow from, well, it's supposed to prevent the snow from blowing onto the roads and stuff. And it's kind of like a blockade. Um, I don't see any here, but there was some, there was a fence uh, back in on a pasture back there, uh, a ways back. And I think there's one up here somewhere. So, but basically they just, they, they put it out in the pasture uh, again to, to keep the snow off the road when we do get the, the blowing snow and stuff so Maybe I'm just going to stay in the left lane.
totally different come this evening, but you know, with like a lot more snow on the ground, so. It's not bad right now. I thought it'd be way worse, but this is not bad. It doesn't work well for those that go flying by in this kind of weather. <laughs> but me, I'm taking it easy. see a lot more snowmobiles now that uh, we're getting some more snow now maybe not today because I know the trails aren't open but here in the near future I would suspect
There's one of the plows. Another plow. are completely snow covered it's just making sure that you're staying in between the yellow lines if you can see them um, I've driven many roads like that before like I said today this is not bad so I'm not having any issues with this now if you go back into videos and look I did a road trip up to Marquette Michigan and I was staying within the tire marks because I couldn't see anything else.
So as you guys can see over in the left lane that they've cleared even part of some of the shoulder and the plow will come back through and do the same thing on the right uh, eventually. Um, and again, that's to keep the snow off the road when it starts to blow. Somebody went off there. Another plow. Thirty four degrees outside, too, right now. And I believe this weekend and into next week, we're going to have lows and the negatives. I hate that, you know. 32 is fine. You don't need to go below that. So now, like I said, you'll see a lot of the main drags. The main drags and the highways were all taken care of. It's the side streets now uh, that'll be touch and go uh, because they're focusing on the main drags and the highways. So. Yeah, see like that back there? If I, if I look at that correctly, uh, the right, uh, the road to the right back there was plowed. The road to the left still had snow on it. Looks like a plow up ahead too. Yep. 
these roads aren't plowed, so they'll come around and do them. It's just they're going to be later on. It doesn't even look like it's snowing much. I mean, you can kind of see the flakes, but again, when it's doing that all day and into tomorrow, um, it's going to definitely add up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this video, guys. If you do like this kind of content, please feel free to subscribe. My goal is to get to 1,000 eventually soon. Uh, that would be so awesome. As you can see, we're at like, uh, we're, we're almost at 800 for subscribers right now. Um, and again, I appreciate all you guys for watching the videos, liking the videos, and the subscribing to the videos. With that... I'll see you guys uh, on the next adventures here, there, and everywhere. You guys take care. I'll talk to you then.